Now you can hardly hear that. You can honestly hardly hear it. If, if I stand back up, there's a slight hum from up here. It's the Aqua Oxy 4800 by OAS. And this is why we need it. So at this time of the year, it's not actually rained for, for over four weeks now. The pond's dropped by about a foot and a half. Uh, the, the oxygen in it is, has dropped dramatically. So we need to uh, get a bit of aeration going in. And um, I'm just going to show you getting set up and the, the pipes going in. So this is everything that you get with it. Bit disappointed that it's not been supplied with a plug, so I've got to find one. Uh, and I appreciate that this could have been fed through something, but nevertheless, they could have supplied a plug that I could have attached myself. Now I've got to root one of those out, so not happy with that. Um, these are the pipes that carry the air to the glass ends, and that'll pump the air out of those. This nozzle connects onto the front there, and then on there, we've got the manifold and basically the manifold goes onto the nice easy to clamp on with that each one of these pipes then goes onto the manifold and you've also got a tap that you can turn them on and off individually operate them individually so we'll get this set up now and then we'll get it put in the water because of the weed that's in the water um my son's going to go in just so that we can get this put underneath the weed and then obviously uh, those working. So you've also got some uh, additional membranes just in case, uh, in case any of them were down, you've got the replacements there. Right, I found a plug, really old plug. You can even turn the plug on and off, which is good. Uh, and again, this is all because they haven't supplied one, which I'm um, not happy with that bit. Anyway, let's get the plug on. Right, so that's it, plug on. Now let's get the, uh, the pipes connected and the aerator balls on. First of all we need to get this on so that we can fit the manifold on and it's simply a case of there's already an o-ring and a washer on it so it's simply a case of putting it in turning it and then uh, a little bit more than finger tightening i will just get a spanner and just just crank that over a bit and that's that right time for the manifold just take that off there push it over now it's only air that's coming through there, so you don't need to over tighten it or anything. Uh, it's not like there's water or high pressure. So we've tightened that. This now, really, really easy. Make sure the taps are on top and just push it on. Just push it up as far as it'll go. Get the clamp. Put it back over, just press it together, pop it back over and on it goes. And then that's it. That's done and dusted. Now we just need to put the air uh, pipes on. Right, we're going to take this down and put it in situ before we put the air uh, pipes on. Put the aerator ball on, aerator ball. Simply take it out of the packaging, which is easier said than done. Watch out for the dog in the background. Right, there's quite a bit of weight to these. So inside, inside this plastic, there's actually brass. So it will easily settle on the bottom. But all you need to do is uh, get your length of pipe, uncoil it, and then obviously on one end, just give it a lick and push it over and then push it up. And it's as simple as as simple as that that's done right now let's get this put into the water lick the pipe get it on there just like that right now to get the other three done right, okay let's start getting the balls in right so we've got all four of them in now just uh just gonna bury the the air tube in a little bit just so that it looks better uh, and then we'll get it switched on and that's it Switched on, starting to wear it. Nothing, uh, nothing huge, but hopefully enough just to get the uh, the fish with a little bit of oxygen, just while it's needed. And if we have a look and a listen at the the device, right. So that's it, all working. Plugged into there. Now you can hardly hear that. 
you can honestly hardly hear it. If, if I stand back up, there's a slight hum from up here. I don't even think my dog can hear that. Uh, yeah, no, really, really good. And I feel a bit better now. Right, okay. And if you just have a look down there, you can actually see where I cut the pipe when I was opening the box. So be really, really careful. And just to show you uh, the pipes being turned on and off. So I'm going to turn that one off there. And if we look out, I think it's the second from the left. And if we turn it off, yep, stopped. Turn it back on again, and it's there. And let's do the one on the far left. And turned off, upstairs, turned on, turned off, on, off. So very, very controllable. Very, very controllable. In summary, um, good price, easy to fit, could have done with a plug. You can see it aerating. I know I need something a lot bigger for this, but as I say, it'll get me over the next few days until it rains. Uh, so, win-win.